all the farmers know that these animals are really smart. And what we are doing is in a way to give them a, to give them a microphone, give them a voice to talk to us, but we still need to understand what they tell us. So we have a lot to learn from them, um, but we, we think that they know much more than, than they tell us so far. Well, we are working with people all around the world, with researchers and, and local people, uh, for example, in Bhutan, in South Africa, in Thailand, in China, in um, Russia, all, all over the place, uh, because we think that if animals know their environment and if we link them together, then we have intelligent sensors that are linked together and that will give us what we call the Internet of Animals. So it's really a, a linking of intelligent sensors that provide us with a new measurement opportunity to understand uh, life on the planet, right? <laughs> well, so with the goats, um, we have uh, collars on them that show us their activity and their location. And uh, we hope that we can determine whether they show any anticipation to volcanic activity. So if there's a general sign of, you know, there's some dangerous situation in the environment, maybe they show us. And we have some indications that they may do that. But now we want to know, you know, do other animals have the same capacity? Is that uh, something general? And also um, we want to have more locations so working with the Instituto Nacional de Geofisica and Vulcanologica, uh, we're trying to figure out, is this an additional source of information that could be used for forecasting? So what we expect is that the animals tell us if they are really stressed or really excited, if, some, if they feel that something dangerous is coming, and maybe they go to, for example, under the trees, that they feel safer under the trees or in close to the, the stable, uh, maybe they also come together or maybe they go uh, away from each other. So we, usually what we see is that the animals tell us something about how they perceive the environment. And uh, with the donkeys we can now look at their location but also their activity and we hope that they can tell us something but, but maybe not, we're, we're not sure. Hmm? We don't know if you really tell us something or, or if they are just totally ignorant about the the, the volcano. Maybe they, they don't care about it. It's possible. We have a GPS uh, sensor on it to measure location precisely, but then we also have temperature and pressure, which gives you information about the air and the environment, but also acceleration and magnetometer. So this gives you some information on how they move. So for example, if they stop moving, then you see, oh, they are, they are freezing, they're, fr they're stopping to move. Or if they move very quickly, then you see that the acceleration is much higher. So those kind of things we, we can use to actually give us information on the behavior of the animals. So, so if they, maybe if they are stressed, they move the head up and down quickly. And this is something we can measure through these instruments.